Linux is, as of yesterday, September 17th, 33 years old. Yesterday, the September 17th is the 33rd anniversary of the first public release of, of Linux code. The creator of Linux, Linus Torvalds, is 54 years old. Now, if you were to think, oh, he's going to continue developing Linux for the same amount of time he has been, he would be 87 years old, 33 years from now. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Linus is a very well-off man. He has no need to continue working at this point. He can retire now, I'm, I'm assuming, unless he has some crazy gambling addiction we are all not aware of. But that said... There has been no announcement as to what the succession plan is for Linux. There are a number of kernel maintainers, including a various stable kernel releases and whatnot, that have been very active over the last several years. And so I think many people have assumed that one of those individuals, including like Greg Crow, a Hartman often, often gets mentioned, would become the de facto mainline Linux kernel maintainer when Linus decides to step down. But Linus himself has not spoken on this. He has dodged every question related to, to this for, for quite some time and with some of the weird things that have happened with the Linux Foundation over the last several years including an, an increasing move away from Linux as their primary business they focused more heavily on AI and blockchain technology and that sort of thing recently it, it's a reasonable question to ask is what does the future look like for the next few years heck for the next few decades of Linux well Every so often, Linus Torvalds sits down with a gentleman by the name of Greg, uh, a gentleman by the name of Dirk Handel. Now, uh, Dirk Handel is another long-term uh, kernel developer. The two are friends and have known each other for a long time. And Linus famously does not like to give speeches. He does not like to give presentations. So what they do is they put him on a stage in a chair and Dirk Handel sits next to him and asks him a couple questions. Now, interestingly, these these Q&A sessions that Linus does are never long. Um, the most recent one just happened a few days ago. The Linux Foundation has published it, and it's only 31 minutes long. <laughs> and most of it is not necessarily Linus answering questions. Um, but we did get a little snippet in there that was rather interesting. Dirk Handel asks the question that I think is on many people's minds and that the London Journal has raised repeatedly is what does the succession plan look like? Where does Linus see himself five, ten years from now? Certainly in another 33 years, he probably won't be developing Linux anymore. Well, here is what Linus said as to who his new successors would be and this is this is fantastic so what i'm trying to say is you've been doing this for 33 years i i don't want to be morbid but i think in 33 years you may no longer be doing this yes. possibly yeah. and uh, even though i would love to still do the the conference circuit in 33 years but <laughs> in, yeah we come in on our walkers it's gonna be awesome but um what i'm saying is in order to be the king of Linux, the, the main king maintainer, of Linux. you have to have a lot of experience. And yep. the backup right now is Greg KH, who has even less hair than the two of us, and is about the same age as we are. Greg, are you in the room? I apologize. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. punch me later. Um, but what I'm saying is, how do we get the next generation to, to gain the experience so that in 10, 15, 20, 30 years, your 30 role years. can be handed off to somebody else. It's I, that sustainability that I'm asking about. I actually, so I, I think part of the issue with us having a lot of developers is that we've always had a lot of people who are very competent and could step up. I mean, you mentioned Greg, but the thing is, Greg hasn't always been Greg. Before Greg, there's been Andrews and Allens, and after Greg, there will be... After Greg, there will be... Here we go. Shannons and Steves, who knows? So there you go. Shannons and Steves will be the next successor 
of 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 Lydus Torvald. He literally dodged this question, but told us that it might it might be someone named Shannon, or uh, it might be someone named Steve. There are people around who have been around for <laughs> decades, and the real issue is you have to have a person he or a group it. of people that people in the development community can trust. Yeah, and part of trust is fundamentally about having been a, around for long enough that people know how you work. Mm -hmm. But long enough is, does not need to be 30 years. No, no, uh, no it does not need to be 30 very years. We have core developers that are like top level maintainers for uh -huh. major He's continuing to dodge it. He's continuing to dodge it. He, he dodges it for the rest of the thing and, and he never answers the question. Uh, this is, this is going to be an ongoing thing. People are going to ask him increasingly, who is the next king of Linux? Who is the next mainline kernel maintainer for Linux? Who's going to be the next driving force? And here's, here's the cold, hard, dirty truth of the matter. If when Linus retires, Linux is at that point fully ruled and controlled by the Linux Foundation. That's simply the way it works. That's that's where the money's going through. That's where the trademarks are funneling. Uh, that's where the trademark agreements are in place. It's going to be the Linux Foundation. And so who's going to put in place the the main uh, maintainer for Linux? Well, it's going to be whoever is paying the Linux Foundation the most money, which right now is going to be a, a set of companies dominated by the likes of, oh, I don't know, Microsoft. I'm just saying that's where the money's coming from. So who's going to succeed Linus when he steps down or is hit by the proverbial bus? Well, ask Microsoft because Linus doesn't know. Linus doesn't have any say over the matter. Realistically, he doesn't have any say in the matter. Who does have say in the matter? Jim Zemlin, the head of the Linux Foundation and the main people, the main companies that are currently funding the Linux Foundation, like Microsoft and VMware and many, many others. So that's 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 who's going to choose. And so that's why Linus is, is dodging the question. That's why he's kind of waffling here. He's like, well, it could be Shannon's or it could be Steve's. Um, uh, but for the time being, I think that's all we have to go with. The next kernel maintainer, the next main king of Linux is going to be Shannon or maybe a Steve. And it's going to be whoever Microsoft picks is the reality. That's just how it's going to be. And with that, I just I just wanted to make sure you were all aware of this happening. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare end broadcast. <laughs>